Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all new fuel efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. The longer a person has diabetes, the more likely they are to develop diabetic retinopathy. If left untreated, diabetic retinopathy can lead to blindness. That's why it's important for diabetics to have a comprehensive eye examination with dilation once a year. I'm Dr. Laurie Cagle of Cagle Eye Center in Fulton. We offer comprehensive eye exams to provide diagnosis and treatment of various eye diseases. Browse our large selection of frames available in prescription and non-prescription. Call to schedule your appointment today at Cagle Eye Center in Fulton. Today tastes like staying in, and it never tasted this good. You know what I remember when you were born? Today tastes like a Sunday ritual, and it never tasted this good. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Well, it has been 10 months since we've had basketball action here inside the Davis Events Center on the campus of Itawamba Community College in Fulton. But it feels good to have it back tonight as the Mississippi Delta Trojans come up the road. They meet us here in Fulton, and it'll be men's basketball action for you tonight on the Red Channel on Let's Go ICC TV. I'm Jordan Smith alongside Jim Ingram. Adam Gore and C.J. Adams are steering the ship over here for us tonight. Jim, been a lot of stuff happened since we called a basketball game here in Fulton. Jordan, this has been a very unusual year. We are just excited to be able to do this tonight. Of course, we don't have a great crowd, cannot do that. You know, what we're doing this year, we'll have 14 games. Either the boys or girls will be home one game, and then the boys and girls will be away. At, you know, and tonight we're playing Mississippi Delta, the boys. The girls are at Mississippi Delta, so you got to alternate. We will not have a boys and girls game at the same time, same arena. Yeah, very interesting schedule set up, different from what we're used to here. It's typically, you know, you have the doubleheader, the women and then the men play right after. Now, just one game per night, but they're still playing at the same time. There's just a contest happening on each campus, and tonight the women are on the road down at Delta, and the men are up here in Fulton for this matchup. This is the pregame show brought to you by Davis Ford. Visit davisfordsales.com or stop by 904 West Main Street in Fulton to pick out your next dream car, truck, or van from Davis Ford. We thank Davis Ford for sponsoring our pregame show here this year. So in the midst of a pandemic, plenty of other things uh, have changed since last March, uh, the last time ICC played a, a basketball matchup. One of those things we will see tonight is going to be a difference at the helm, at the coaching position here with ICC. Coach Eric Bozeman is taking over in an interim fashion for Coach Grant Pate, who's going through some illness, will not be with us here at least through the first part of this season. Our thoughts and prayers go out there uh, to Coach Pate. No doubt about it. And I know the team will play hard for Coach Pate tonight. As you mentioned, he's going through a medical condition. And as we mentioned, our thoughts and prayers are with him. We hope he's back soon. Absolutely. But we know Coach Bozeman and Coach Tyrone Fox, who's helping Coach Bozeman tonight, will do a good job. And Coach Bozeman is not a stranger to this basketball team. He's been here as an assistant for a long time. He's also not a stranger to a head coaching position, as he's been head coach in three separate places, also as an assistant back a few years ago at Ole Miss. His head coaching experience uh, goes really across the South. He's been the head coach 
uh, on the men's side of things at Henderson State and at South, uh, Southern Arkansas. On the women's side of things, Northwestern Oklahoma State, he was the head coach. But the, one of the most impressive things with Coach Bozeman may be from back in his playing days. He played at Arkansas Tech, where he played his college ball, averaged over 20 points per game. That led the conference wow. back in his playing days. So he's someone who is very familiar uh, with how to coach a basketball team. No doubt about it. He's had a couple of sons that could really play some college basketball also. So Coach Bozeman brings a lot of experience tonight. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, Coach Pate is at home with a medical condition. We hope we'll hear from Coach Pate tonight in Texas. We feel like he'll be watching the game online tonight. We hope he's doing well. So we're going to take a quick break here in the Davis Ford pregame show. We'll come back with keys to the game. We'll take a look at the starting lineups. We'll get the stage set for basketball here from Fulton. This is ICC Basketball on the ICC Sports Network. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all new fuel efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Hey, Indian fans. I'm Ricky Murphy, real estate agent, Tommy Morgan Realtors, and I'm also a proud alumni of the All-American Marching Band. Itawamba Community College was my home for two years, and where you decide to make your home will be one of the most important decisions of your life. Whether you're looking to create a plan to buy your first home, or if you're ready today to make a move into your forever home, give me a call or send me a message so we can discuss your next move. And for my family, Roll Trash! Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. That's home. <laughs> that's just like the Ravens. That's just like Pahokee, Florida. Um, that's my second home. I got my degree from there, my first degree, college degree. It's part of my heart, it's part of my soul, it's part of my spirit. And, you know, it's everything. You're the one with Community College, baby. Uh, it's, it's everything. It shaped me up to being a great man because it was part of the journey of me becoming the young man I am today. And um, it's home, man. That, that's, that's it. Like, I can go there and lay my head down without no problems. It'll the one Community College, the best star here. Back here inside Fulton as pregame is underway between ICC and Mississippi Delta. Looking at a 540 tip time here, so we're getting close to tipping off the 2021 basketball season in Mississippi Junior College action. Jim, let's take a look at this ICC basketball team. You know, one thing that I noticed early on was during the warm-up period, we've been here for 45 minutes to an hour to watch them. That was one of the more in intense warm-up periods I've seen in a long time as they really got out there, got after it, broke a sweat early on. No doubt about it. I think Coach Bozeman and Coach Fox has got them ready. I think they're going to come out, maybe even run a little bit to start the ball game. I think the players are ready. You know, it's unfortunate we can't have a great crowd like we used to do here because of COVID, but they are ready to play, the people that are here. I think they'll see an enthused team playing hard tonight, not only for themselves, but for Coach Grant Payton. When you look at this roster from ICC, you find nine freshmen, six sophomores, so pretty even. You're not going to find much more even a breakdown between your freshmen and sophomores there. But one thing that I do notice when you look back on last year's team is you're only bringing back about 23 points per game off of that squad. And of those 23, Brandon Brown averaged almost half of that at 14 points per game himself. So there's going to be some opportunities out there tonight for some guys that you may have not seen play before uh, really step up and lead this team. No doubt about it. We, you know, we're looking at, and you'll go over the starting lineup later, but we've got some new freshmen playing, of course, this year. Like you said, they got to supply some scoring for us early this year. 
in other action around the league tonight is only three or two other games that is uh, taking place tonight on the men's side of things. Northwest is at East Mississippi. That'll be a 6 o'clock tip time. Holmes is at Northeast tonight. That's a 6 o'clock tip time there on the men's side. On the women's side, uh, the ICC Lady Indians will be at Delta. That tips off at 6, as well as EMCC at Northwest and Northeast at Holmes. Both of those matchups taking place at 6 o'clock as well. Hate to look too far ahead, but as we look forward to next week, uh, next Monday night, the women will be in action here at the Davis Event Center for the first time. They'll play host to the Northwest Rangers at 530, and the men will be on the road at Northwest at 6 o'clock. Jim and I will be here in Fulton to bring you the call as the Rangers and Indians tie up on Monday night. Looking forward to it, and we're looking at a Monday and Thursday schedule throughout the year up to March. There'll be some open dates. But hopefully we'll be with you twice a week, bringing some victories to the men and women's ICC basketball team. All right, here in the Davis Ford pregame show, it's now time to ask Jim the, the question we like to ask him every pregame. Jim, what are your keys to victory tonight? First game of the year, new coach tonight, new players. You mentioned nine new freshmen playing. Keys to victory is always defense and rebound, especially this first game. We'll have the energy. We've got to rebound and got to play good defense tonight. And if you look back to last year, as you mentioned rebounding, that's something that ICC did a really good job of. They averaged out rebounding their opponents by five. So they crashed the boards well. And as you look at this roster, there's a little more height there than maybe there has been in the past. As you look in there, uh, we'll go over the, the starting lineups here in a few minutes, but you're going to see a little bit more size, a little more length with this team uh, than you may have seen in the last couple of years. And I know that's one thing that, that Coach Pate was excited about, Coach Bozeman, Coach Fox excited about that as well. Looking forward to the game. You mentioned we've got several 6'5", 6'4", 6'8", kids playing tonight. More height. Hopefully that help us in the rebounding area. You know, we mentioned, we mentioned Coach Grant Pate. He has already texted us to both of us, Jordan, and he said – Great to hear you guys calling the game tonight. Go Indians. Well, that's what we wanted to hear right there, Coach. We'll do our best uh, to bring you the best picture we can here. Adam, uh, Adam say, Coach, he, he's waiting on a text over here too. Is Adam Gore, C.J. Adams. They're, they're the, the, the brains behind the whole no operation here for us. Uh, we've got a few things with the broadcast. We're going to debut with Adam tonight, I believe, too, as he's, he's got his mic turned up hot for us. Yeah, if, uh, sorry. Wow, it's really hot there. Um, so if I'm the brains of the situation, we're in trouble. But, yes, we are going to take a look in some live looks at the women's game tonight as well throughout once they tip there at 6 o'clock. So uh, before we do that, we're going to take a quick break, come back with the starting lineups right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all new fuel efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. Today tastes like staying in, and it never tasted this good. You know what I remember when you were born? Today tastes like a Sunday ritual, and it never tasted this good. I feel like I'm the good kind of spicy. It means you got an edge. I got an yeah, edge. He's got yeah. some ump, and I got some ump. I don't know about your ump, but uh, impatience doesn't equal spicy. Mm -hmm. Sonic <laughs> chicken slinger. Is it a good ump or a bad ump? <laughs> Would you rather eat in the car or eat at the dinner at table at home? Why do you eat in the car? You can turn on some tunes. Uh, uh, dancing, eating. You know how weird we'd look if we did this at the kitchen table? Sonic wacky pack. Right now, we just having a good time. Hey. If this just cost a little bit less. Let's take a look at that with the Renaissance Replay. Make the right call with over 400,000 shopping discounts right from the Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking app. Might be a little while before I get to the bank. That's an incomplete pass. Let's give it a Renaissance Replay. Renaissance Mobile Check Deposit. Make the right call and open an account with Renaissance today. 
Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all new fuel efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. Back here inside the Davis Vince Center for the Davis Ford pregame show as we're taking a look at the starters now as they're introducing the Mississippi Delta starters on the floor. We'll take you live to the floor here in just a moment as they introduce the starters from ICC as public address announcer Sam Ferris is getting ready for that and we will now take the mic live with him. Those starters brought to you by Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, ICC and Coke. Now that's a winning combination. Coach Bozeman hopes he has that same winning combo with tonight's starting lineup. As we'll look back at the ICC starting lineup, Rod Jones, a 6'1", 160 freshman out of Albany, Georgia. He'll start at guard, as well as the leading scorer off last year's team, Brandon Brown, a 6'5", 207 sophomore out of White Station High School in Memphis, Tennessee. Shermontis Mitchell will draw the start tonight, a 6'5", 215 sophomore out of Provine High School in Jackson as well as T.J. Wallace, a 6'4", 165 sophomore from Amory, played his freshman year at Delta, so he's seen a lot of his old teammates out there tonight. Wallace will draw the start, as well as Keon Mims, 6'6", 202 freshman out of Fort Mills, South Carolina. He will round out the starting lineup for ICC. On the other side of the page with Delta, Morgan Green, a 5'9", 160 freshman, as well as Taylor Anderson, a 6'5", 180 sophomore. Tobias Parks, a 6'8", 220 sophomore. Jerry is sharp, a 6'5", 190 sophomore, and Chavis Banks will round out the starting lineup for Coach Derek Fears. Banks is a 6'5", 240 sophomore out of Yazoo City. So it's Green, Anderson, Parks, Sharp, and Banks for Delta. It is Jones, Brown, Mitchell, Wallace, and Mims for ICC. Jordan, looking forward to the game. As you mentioned, we've got a little bit more height out there in the starting lineup, and Delta's got some height also, so several big men starting the game. And I don't know if we've already had a bit of an issue on the floor or what it was. The official scorebook was taken over to Eric Bozeman and then across the floor to Derek Fears. But we looked like we've got that settled. And now we're ready to open up the 2021 year as we look for the opening tip. As it looks like it will be Parks to jump for Delta and also Kian Mims, freshman for ICC, is... A bit of a blunder there on the opening dip. We're going to try that one again, try Jim. Try it again. <clears throat> Take two, and not a whole lot better, but it is secured by Delta. So Delta, as you look at your screen, operating from left to right. Goes down low to open up with Parks. He pump fakes, nothing there. That give off the right side of the baseline. No good is the layup, and ICC is able to come away with the rebound. Rod Jones will bring the basketball up the floor for the Indians, and he's going to be called for a carry. Let that one just get a little bit away Went from him. over his head. I think that was a carry. You couldn't let that one go. Don't see that called very much, but if it's blatant, they'll get you for it, and that's what happens there to Jones as a turnover. First time ICC touches the basketball on this young campaign. Delta operating against a man-to-man -man defense from ICC. Screen, here comes around Anderson, who tries to dribble drive. Nothing there. Picks up his dribble, and he's going to get whistled for a walk. So back-to-back -back turnovers, one from ICC, one from Delta. And now ICC will have an opportunity to inbounds the ball for the first time this year. As Delta 
Looks like they're going to pick up a bit of a full court man-to-man -man defense. And Brandon Brown will be chored with bringing up the basketball for the Indians. T.J. Wallace, basketball in the wing. Gift inside to Brown. Brown up and under and in goes Brandon Brown. Led the team in scoring last year with over 13 points per game. He has the first points of the 2021 season. So 2-0 lead, 19 minutes to play in the first half for ICC. Parks with the basketball, gives back up top to Sharp. Excuse me, that's Green. Green off the screen with the left side, tries to go up. Five seconds on the shot clock, give no good off the front iron. Resets the shot clock. Second chance, no good. Third chance, no good. And now tie up, whistle. And that's going to be a jump ball, but they got four opportunities they to put back right there at the goal. You know, we mentioned they've got a 6'8 boy starting a 6'5 young man and another 6'5. They're very athletic. So jump ball possession arrow will go to ICC, and you're going to see again that pressure from Coach Derek Fears. It's just a full court man-to-man -man defense going to make ICC work for everything they can. Brown working off the screen from Mims to his right side, gives to Rod Jones. Jones now back to Brown up top, and ICC will reset with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Give into the corner to Shermontis Mitchell. Mitchell drug his foot. Wanted to go right, came back left, and he drug his plant foot, and he's going to get whistled for the travel. 18-11 left in the halftime, 2-0. Indians over the Trojans, Michigan Delta. So a little bit of sloppy play here early on, and we know Coach Bozeman had mentioned the reason that they went so hard in pregame warm-ups was because in a couple of the exhibition games early on, they'd come out a little bit sloppy, and they, they right. wanted to try to get that out of the system, break that first sweat, if at all possible. ICC is going to settle into a bit of a zone defense. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Pass comes over into the corner. Now down low, nowhere to go. Back up top of the key. Three-point shot from Green is on, and it's nothing but net and good. And Delta has taken the lead at 3-2. to two. Brandon Brown trying to break that pressure quick. He's going to give off into the corner. There's a whistle, and it's going to be a charge. First foul of the contest will go on Brandon Brown. That is a charge. And Delta's going to lead the game 3-2 and have the basketball. Jordan, we've got to keep Brandon Brown in the game. If you remember, he did not start at point guard until later last year. He made a big difference. He's 6'5", big point guard. He's the key man for us. And a definite size advantage for Brandon Brown in this matchup. As Morgan Green's a 5'9 freshman. Brown is about 6'5 and a sophomore, so he's got a little more experience, got a little bit more length. But they're covering each other, and that's where you see that length come into play right there. It's nothing happening on the offensive end for Delta. Good defense by Brandon, and that's going to force a turnover. Three to two Trojans early in the first half, 17-12 left in the first half. Each team, I think, with two turnovers already early in this game. So let's set the floor for ICC. It's Brandon Brown as well as T.J. Wallace, Shermontis Mitchell, Kean Mims, and Rod Jones with the five on the floor for ICC. It's been the same five in there so far all night long through the first three minutes. Top of the key, three-point shot on from Wallace. Back iron no good. ICC attacks the boards. Wallace gets his own, puts up no good. Rebound fought for, out of bounds, off Delta. And ICC will maintain possession. Good effort by Wallace. He missed two shots, but he kept crashing the boards, got two rebounds, forced it off him. So inbound pass, inbound pass will come from Brandon Brown. Gets it in to Mims. Mims, the freshman out of South Carolina, drives left side, puts it up. It's good. Count the basket for the freshman out of Fort Mills, South Carolina. Nice job of fighting through the contact, finishing the basket, and he'll go to the line for one more as the foul will go against Tobias Parks. That's the first on Parks, first team foul for Delta. As we'll see, the first free throw attempt on the season for ICC. It's up from Mims off the back iron, no good. Rebound controlled by Delta. ICC is going to go into a bit of a, a, a zone trap here off of the free throw. As you see Coach Bozeman for the first time switching up that defense, not going to sit back in one look as there's a whistle and a block called against ICC as Chavis Banks drove baseline. <clears throat> I believe they're going to get Shermontis Mitchell with the block, and that's going to send Banks to the free throw line. Team's second foul, first one against Mitchell. Chavis Banks, 6'5", 240, sophomore. Played his high school ball at Yazoo City. 
First free throw from Banks is up and good. Jordan, he might have played a little football, too. He's 240. He is a big man. He looks like he still could. He's, and he moves pretty well to be the size, too. It's both free throws up and good by the big fella. And Delta is taking back the lead at 5-4. to four. Brandon Brown working up the far side, back to Jones now into the corner, all the way back across to Shermontis Mitchell. Mitchell back to his right to Brown. Brown gets it back over to T.J. Wallace. Wallace can give off the key and Mims, who starts right, comes back left, and for the second time in a row, Woo! he gets to the goal. And I don't know how that's not a goal ten there. It looked like he pinned it on the backboard, but nonetheless, rebound goes to Delta, and up the floor in a hurry they come. Whistle and a foul. They're going to get ICC again for that one. They're going to get T.J. Wallace on the block, Jim. It looked to me like Sharp had lowered that shoulder a little bit. I thought we had position, but, hey, we're not the referees. So that foul's going to go against Wallace, his first personal, team's third. No shooting foul. They call it on the floor, so Delta will inbound under the goal. Inbound pass, whistle and a foul, and that's going to go against ICC again. That one's going to be – did they get Mitchell? So they got him again. So that's two quick ones for Shermontis Mitchell. And Coach Bozeman will probably go to the bench here. We'll see if he does. That's exactly what he's going to do. Antoine Porter will check into the game for the Indians. Porter, 6'6", 195, sophomore out of Bahia High School. Averaged almost four points per game in some action. Uh, had 17 starts in 24 contests last year for ICC. Delta inbounds the pass into the corner. Good job on the defensive end by Rod Jones to cut it off. Now back up top to Morgan Green to reset the offense. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Coach Fears calls in a set from the sideline. As drive right side shot up, no good. Rebound fought for. There's going to be a whistle and a foul, and I think they're going to say Sharp came across the head of Porter. It'll be ICC basketball. Well, Jim, we're a little over four minutes into the action here, and it's, as we kind of expected at this point, a little bit of a sloppy start both sloppy. ways. Great effort by both teams, but a little bit sloppy, a lot of turnovers. As we mentioned, Trojans up 5 to 4, 15-30 left until halftime. Trojans set here in this full-court man-to-man defense. His entry pass goes to Porter, finds himself under the goal, tries to use the glass to put it in, and it will not go. Rebound controlled again by the Trojans. Up the floor comes Morgan Green, and again, pulls it out. It's going to allow his offense to reset. He's done a good job of that, the freshman, of just kind of being in control of everything so far. Tries to go give and go, but nowhere to go for the Trojans. Pass up the floor in a hurry to T.J. Wallace. Back into the corner to Rod Jones for three. Drilled it. He's got it. Rod Jones with the first three-pointer of his career here at ICC and a quick timeout by Derek Fears. I like that freshman sweet stroke three-pointer. We needed that. Seven to five Indians, 15 minutes left to halftime. We'll take this break. We'll be back right after this. This is ICC Basketball on the ICC Sports Network. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. Back here inside the Davis Events Center, ICC leads this one early, 7-5 with 15.02 to play. That timeout was brought to you by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Stop by and see Dr. Gabe Rulowitz and all the outstanding people at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi to check on those nagging aches and pains. Call 377-BONE to set up that appointment today. Jim, one thing I've seen out of Coach Bozeman here early on is they're not sitting back in the same defensive set. No. As they know there's some youngsters at guard for Delta, and they're swapping up those looks for them pretty frequently. As the shot was airballed there by Shamarius Hodges, who's just checked into the game. He adds to that by fouling on the rebound. So an air ball followed by a foul, and ICC's got the ball. Something I noticed early this year, we're showing a lot of energy on defense. And like you mentioned, switching up different defenses, getting the Trojans off course here. So same five on the floor coming out of the timeout for ICC as Antoine Porter was that sixth man. He's the first man off the bench for the Indians tonight. Three-pointer up by Rod Jones, barely catches the front iron, no good. As that set didn't have the movement that Coach Bozeman wants out of his offense. Rebound easily controlled by Delta. And up the floor they come with Morgan Green. Green gives off to Sharp, who goes left side. Now gives to Hodges, who dribble drives, almost loses it. 
but a nice job of maintaining control. It's a good move off inside, but the pass is going to go off of Taylor Anderson out of bounds on Delta. And, you know, they had a couple of looks right there, and they it's did. almost like they're just trying to make a little too much happen. No doubt about being too unselfish. 7-5, Indians lead, 14 minutes to play in the first half. Been a little back and forth so far in this one. A little sloppy play, but things are trying to straighten back out as a whistle on the drive. Foul is going to go on Delta. And I believe they're going to get Taylor Anderson. That's the sophomore guard for his first foul, fourth team foul on Delta. So four fouls apiece here, six minutes into action. In the first contest of the year, Jones gives off to Brandon Brown. Brown for three out of the corner. Off the front iron, no good. And Delta, again, has controlled the rebound. They've done a good job on the defensive glass so far tonight. Just has not contributed back to a lot of points so far for the Trojans. Banks gives off back top again to Green, who drives off right side. Nowhere to go with it. Passes, or I guess we'll say that's a shot that was blocked. And here comes ICC out in transition. Alley-oop from Rod Jones gives off to Brandon Brown. No good, but right there behind him is T.J. Wallace to clean it up. Well, that's why when you're out in transition, everybody needs to trail because sometimes things blow up. you got to get that rebound and get the put back. Good job by Wallace. You talk about our defense, Jordan. The last five possessions I believe Delta's had have not gotten a shot off. Either turned it over or offensive foul. Great defense early by ICC. Half-court man-to-man defense. As you see that defense from Antoine Porter there, drive off right side, off the back glass, nowhere to go. Ball goes out of bounds, they'll say off of ICC. And it looks like mass substitution time here as it's been pretty steady with the five on the floor for ICC, but I think we've got five fresh faces coming out for the Indians as we'll try to get this lineup set for you as I see Gary Hoskins checking in as well as Rodarian Pendleton. Hunter Stacy into the contest for the Indians. Isaiah Thompson and Deshaun Berry. So five fresh faces into the contest for the Indians. There's a whistle and a foul underneath as it was the big fella again. Chavis Banks going to work off the block. He's fouled shooting. It'll go to the line for two. Those five that came in for them are freshmen. Rodarian played a lot last year. It's point guard. He's the sophomore that came in. They're going to get Hunter Stacy for the foul there is Banks to the line. First shot up and good. Three for three off the free throw line so far tonight for Chavis Banks. Second one off the stripe, up and good for Banks as well. And let's see if Delta goes into more of a trap here. They know that ICC's got the reserve unit in and it is going to be that full court pressure. ICC got to get the ball across the half-court stripe. They're trying to do that. 21, they barely got it across. There were one second to spare, mm. and there's where the turnover comes. Well, that's why you up the intensity, but Delta throws it right away again. So they get the turnover, but not able to make anything happen with it. ICC now again. They've got to figure out a way to break this press. First time to see that so far tonight. Up off the right side comes oh. Rodarian Pendleton, and he says, I'll break it on my own. Down the sideline he goes, just lays it up with the right hand. Good for the sophomore. Banks with the basketball off the block. Cross-court pass. A little oomph on that one from Banks. Is back over to the corner for Willie Egan's Jr. for three. No good, but Banks cleans up the reboard and finishes off the right side. I got Banks with six I, points leading the team. 11-9 ICC leads at 12 minutes to go as the intensity has been upped a little bit here as Delta has gone to this trap, and they've got another turnover. With the basketball out front is Shamarius Hodges, and he'll finish off the right side, and we've got a tie game. 11-11, 11-35 left in halftime. So we've seen this press from Delta three consecutive possessions. It's resulted in two turnovers from ICC. But this time they're able to break it with 22 seconds on the shot clock. Pendleton comes left side. Hunter Stacy, who's regarded as a very good spot-up shooter, he gives off in the middle to Gary Hoskins, who misses the baby hook. And a rebound again, controlled by Delta. This pass comes up the floor in a hurry. They're going to say it goes off of the hands of Hodges. What a great hustle play there defensively by the Indians, and it ends up with ICC getting back to basketball. Great job by Pendleton. Stole the ball, threw it off the Mississippi Delta player before he went out of bounds. We're all knotted up, 11-11, 11-09 left in halftime. For Delta, we'll see Jerry Sharp come back out onto the floor. He will take over for Taylor Anderson. 
11 all, 11 minutes to play here in the first half. Here's Deshaun Berry with the basketball, a freshman the coaches here at ICC very excited about. As he's back over into the corner now. Ball moves around the top of the key. Berry with it, goes left side, fights in there, gets fouled as he attacks the basket. Well, Berry is a guy that he's not the tallest guy on the floor. He's 6'2". We list him at 195, but he looks like he is just a load. He's a no tough guy it. to deal with. I like his confidence. Drove into the lane, picked up the foul, now shooting two free throws. One of the things that we've heard from the coaching staff about Barry is he's one of those guys that what he does for your team doesn't always show up in the box scores. He may have six points and three or four rebounds, three or four assists, but he's a leader out there as a freshman. And all the way back to his high school days at Hulka, we've heard the same story with Deshaun Berry. Jordan made the first free throw. Sipping knocked down the second one. 12 to 11 Indians. Now 13 to 11, 1049 left to halftime. So first two career points for the freshman Berry as he gives ICC back the lead. Going to set back into that half-court man-to-man again here. Towards the center of the floor comes Delta. Kicks off into the corner with Hodges. Hodges for three. Front iron no good, but the rebound, he gets his own rebound there. As Hodges picks it up, and they'll backtrack and reset on the offensive end. Willie Egan's junior, freshman out of Jonestown, runs the point as ICC goes into, a, I guess, more of a 2-3 zone here this time. Entry pass down low. Nowhere to go with it. Ball comes loose. Hands in back of Hodges again. Now he's got it a fourth time on this time down the floor. As Delta fights for the rebound, they'll finish it with Kaotu, and he gets fouled in the process. That's their 6 7 sophomore for Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, he does a great job of getting the rebound there, going up, fighting through the foul. And he'll go to the charity stripe for one, as they will call that foul on Walter Hamilton. Back iron, no good. Rebound fought for and controlled this time by Hunter Stacy. He crosses the half-court stripe, thinks about pulling it out. Now he will do that. Gets it back up top to Rodarian Pendleton. 13 all under the 10-minute mark here in the first half of the first game of the season for ICC. Here's Pendleton for three, and he hits the bottom of the net with it as ICC has shot the three ball very well here so far tonight. Good job by the sophomore. Pendleton's come off the bench. A lot of energy. Got five points for us here. We've got a 16 to 13 lead, 9.35 left to halftime. Pendleton's one of those guys who saw a lot of action last year and, and again, didn't burn up the, the scoring column or anything, but it seemed like good things always happened when he right. was on the floor. There's a jump ball under the goal. We'll look and see where possession goes. It should be going to Delta. It does just that, so they will retain possession. 20 seconds on the shot clock, and they'll inbound this one in under the goal. Here comes the entry pass. As it's going to go off the legs, I believe, of Hunter Stacy. And Delta will maintain possession. For all your insurance needs, give Joey Cox a call at 662-401-7732 or stop by and see him at 710 South Adams Street in Fulton. And that's all your insurance needs. Go see our friend Joey for that. Well, rebound there off the entry pass, controlled by ICC. Nice job of defense coming out of the inbound. And it Good looks job. like Coach Bozeman's ready to, to sub his starters back onto the floor now as they make their way to the scorer's table. You're right, Jordan. Get some good minutes from everybody tonight. Stacy pull-up jumper from 10 foot out. Not quite there. His rebound fought for. It's going to be a reach in from Delta. It's going to go off of the hands of Ja'Kaya Black. And ICC will have possession, but they've only got eight seconds on the shot clock as here comes that substitution from ICC as it will be T.J. Wallace, Brandon Brown, Kean. Mims, Antoine Porter, and Rod Jones. So four of your original starters with the exception of Shermontis Mitchell back onto the floor here for the Indians. Mitchell, as you remember, got in a little bit of foul trouble there early on. He's on the bench with two fouls. So Brandon Brown, two points in the contest so far, gives off to Wallace, now back inside to Mims. Mims looking for somewhere to go, and that's one of those situations yeah, where didn't ICC know. didn't know how, many, how much time they had on the shot clock. So an unforced turnover there by the Indians gives the ball back to Delta as they trail by three, 8.42 to play in the contest. Morgan Green has been on the floor all night. He handles the point for Delta. He kicks off right side, now back to the left. 
looking for a screen. He goes away from it, splits the middle, tries to make something happen on his own. Can't do that as rebounds fought for. And they're going to say that Banks got to it, but he stepped out of bounds in the process, and ICC will gain possession. Jordan will win in 16 to 13. A little sloppy, but we're playing solid defense so far in this first half. And I, I like what we've seen with, with the switches on the defensive end. If you've seen some zone, you've seen a press once or twice, you've seen some half-court man-to-man defense, just enough to keep that other team thinking about it. Mims with the basketball goes to his left, a little fadeaway jumper, front iron, no good. Antoine Porter gets in there and fights for the rebound, and they'll say it does go off of Mississippi Delta. Well, that's why you get in there and fight for those offensive boards is because a lot of good things happen that way. Great job by Porter. He was battling four Delta players and got them to knock it out of bounds. Brandon Brown with the entry pass. Rod Jones out top of the key. Now gives back to Brown. He had a look from three, but goes away from it. Gets it to the free throw line. Lots of contact. Now back into the corner to Wallace off the iron. No good for three. Rebound. Fault four. It's going to go off the feet of Delta and out of bounds again. There's Brandon Brown. I mean, getting it in there, fighting on the boards. He knows he's going to be out of bounds if he comes down with it. He's smart, and he just throws it right off the feet of Taylor Anderson of Mississippi Delta. 16-13, Indians, 7.51 left at halftime. A little bit of stoppage in play here. I don't know what that is about, but here we get the whistle, and we're back going. Brandon Brown, a little give and go under the goal. Can't get almost too far in under there, off the iron. No good, and now Delta out in a hurry. Anderson with it off right side, now into the corner. Entry pass back down low, now shot from the elbow, and that's a good-looking stroke there from Jerry Sharp. As when you see that zone defense, those elbows are typically what's going to be open, and he's able to nail that one. He's a 6'5 sophomore from Stevens, Arkansas, his first two points of the ballgame. Into the front court with Porter, now back to Mims, out top as Brandon Brown has to track down a pass. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Brown, the sophomore out of Memphis, trying to make something happen. Goes to left side. Now back right. Crossover. Pulls up. Ah, off the back iron. No good. Rebound again is going to be fought for. A good bit of contact, but I think they're going to just say it goes off the arms of Antoine Porter. As Porter and Banks were in there fighting for rebounds. And I'm going to tell you what. On every rebound, look for 14 in red. Chavis Banks finds his way to the rebounds. So one point advantage for ICC under the seven minute mark in the first half is Banks handling the ball out front. And that's probably not where you want him to be is handling the basketball out top. Turnover, here comes ICC. Good job in good transition job. as they give off to Brandon Brown. And he finishes it with the left side. Good pass there from TJ Wallace. And that will cause a timeout to be called by Derek Fears. Let's kick it over to Adam now for the first Sonic Studio update of the night. Thanks guys. Is, uh Taking real quick, looking in over at Moorhead. Lady Indians trailing early here with 8.09 to go in the first quarter of play. It's 5-4. to four. Delta with the lead there at Moorhead. So, or excuse me, ICC just scored uh, in that game. So, there's a little bit of a little delay on that one. So, if you want to check that game out, it's available on Mississippi Delta's YouTube page as uh, it's going on there live as well. We'll try to keep you updated throughout the night. And that's Adam Gore there. First Sonic studio update of the season. Text SONIC to 876-642 to get special offers. Message and data rates may apply. Also, don't forget to download the SONIC app for additional specials. Here in Fulton, the Indians lead at 18 to 15, 637 to go in the first half. Jim, I would say the intensity both ways has, has definitely been as good as you could expect. The defensive end of the floor has been kind to ICC. Just a little bit more sloppy on the offensive end of things. You're right. We mentioned rebounding and defense was key tonight. And the depth also, we've played... Uh, I think we played 10 or 11 guys already in the first 14 minutes of the season. Uh, 18 to 15, Indians up with 637 left in the halftime. Let's see what Coach Bozeman wants to do coming out of the timeout here defensively. This is where we've seen him swap things up, and it looks like we're going to see that again right here. A little bit of a half-court trap in play for ICC as Morgan Green tries to break that with help from Taylor Anderson. Green. Now gives off towards the middle, trying to get to the baseline. Pass knocked down by Antoine Porter. Now turn around in the lane, off the right iron, no good from Willie Egan's Jr. Rebound quickly up the floor to Rod Jones. A little pump fake goes up the baseline. Now gives to TJ Wallace, and Wallace for three, drills it right home. Well, Jim, that's why you go into that half-court trap. It turns into turnovers and then points for you on the offensive end. Good job by ICC. Unselfish play, got the wide open three, nailed it. We've got our biggest lead of the night, 21 to 15 Indians, 6.06 left in the halftime. 
Delta tried to push the ball up the floor in a hurry, but now we'll go into more of that half-court set. Now operating up the baseline, there's going to be a whistle. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds trying to hook him there. Well, they're going to get him for the foul. It wasn't out he of bounds. The hook. They're going to get him for the hook there on Tobias Parks. By my count, that's the second foul for Parks, six-team foul. Six fouls for ICC as well, so next foul will put each team into the bonus. Key and Mims there on the entry pass to Brandon Brown. That's probably not exactly how you want to do that one as Brown drives up the sideline. A little bit of contact from Anderson, but fights through it. And now goes into that half-court set with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Porter goes to work. Lots of contact, and there's the whistle and a foul. Well, a double team there off the block. Porter got split between them, and then just arms went flying they all did. over the place. At matter of fact, there's three guys on them. So that foul there will go on Shamarius Hodges. That's the second foul of the contest for Hodges, seventh team foul. But they'll say that was in the act of shooting, so two shots here for Antoine Porter. First one off the front iron, no good. Porter got to the free throw line 24 times last year, made 11 of those, so nearly 46% on the year. Last year, that is, for Antoine Porter. He gets the basketball now, looking for that second free throw. Puts it up. It's back iron, no good. Needs to split that. One right. front iron, one back iron. Got to find that middle ground. Goes back into the trap goes ICC defensively. Had the ball trapped. Good job by Delta of breaking that and now trying to, to get their offense set up as Banks is just able to back down T.J. Wallace. A bit of a mismatch there in the low post. And Banks finishes it with the right hand. That's who they need to go to. 6'5", 240. He's got eight points leading them tonight so far. Ball switches sides to Rod Jones, who pulls up off the elbow, front iron no good, and there's Banks again. I feel like I'm consistently saying Chavis Banks for Delta, as he's a little slow to get up the floor this time, though, as he's played a lot of minutes. But he doesn't have to get up there if they're going to drill a shot that quick, as Ja'Kaya Black, with his first points of the contest, hits one from the left side corner, and they've pulled back to within two points. Ja'Kaya Black, 6'4", freshman from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 21-19, ICC leads it under the five-minute mark. They pushed the lead out to as much as six, but this two-point range has been right about where the contest has been all night. Brandon Brown, three-point off the left side wing, no good. And there again, Chavis Banks on the rebound. Banks is winded. They need to wait for that big man to get down the court. Got a whistle, and it's going to be a double, double foul, foul call down low. There's a lot of beating and banging. Both guys end up on the floor. It'll go against Antoine Porter and Jerry is Sharp. And that was, I mean, 25 feet away from any of the action, really. But there's been a lot of contact down low, and you see the officials trying to, to work that out a little bit. That's Porter's first. That's Sharp's second foul of the ball game. So two fouls now on Sharp. So for Delta, that's two on Sharp, two on Parks, and two on Hodges. For ICC, there is just... One guy really in much foul trouble, that's Shermontis Mitchell. He picked up two in the first four minutes of the contest. So conversation now taking place with the officials. Both teams are in the bonus now. I don't know if that's what this is stemming from. So with the double foul, it should be a jump ball. That's what it is. ICC has possession. So Coach Derek Fears having a conversation with the officiating crew over across the way, but... That's what's going to happen there is on the double foul call, it's a jump ball, and ICC is going to have possession. So as we sort this out, it's going to give time for Delta to get set a full court press here. Haven't seen this look from them so far tonight as Key and Mims is the inbound guy. Now he gets it back, walks it up the floor. Now Brandon Brown gets the ball back with 24 seconds on the shot clock. Two-point lead for ICC, under five to play here in the first half. Again, lots of contact down low as Deshaun Berry pulls up for three. No good. And I'm telling you, Chavis Banks is going to have 20 rebounds in the first half as he clears it again. Been kind on the boards for the guys in red. Ball kicks off left side. Now trying to go down low to Banks. Banks being covered by Porter. Porter's given up 50 pounds to him, but he's still able to get in there, good gets his hands up, and does a good job on defense. Brandon Brown out in transition. Starts left, comes back right. Doesn't quite get the roll off the front iron, but he's fouled in the process, and he'll go to the charity stripe. I believe they're going to get zero Morgan Green on the foul. His first personal, team's ninth. 
So ICC will be shooting two the rest of the way out here in the first half. Here comes Brandon Brown, four points on the night for the sophomore. First free throw attempt is off the right iron, no good. Well, that free throw line was one place where ICC kind of got in a little bit of trouble last year. They shot it at 69%, which is not great, but you'd like to have it up there a little bit closer to that 75-80% mark. So far tonight, the stripe hasn't been mm, that kind no. to the Indians. So nursing that two-point lead, ICC had a chance there to stretch it out to four, but not able to convert from the free throw line. Delta drives ball off left side, now gives into the corner, pull up jump shot, and we're tied back up as there was Ja'Kaya Black again from about 12 feet out, drills that one home, and we're all square. 21 apiece, 325 left to halftime. Mims, entry pass down low. Now back to Mims, pulls up for three off the left side wing, no good. Barry fighting for the rebound, goes up, fights through contact, front iron, no good. Still fighting for the rebound the second time, and there's going to be a whistle and a foul. If they're going to get Antoine Porter on the foul. That's his second personal, team's eighth. And that's going to be a long walk up the floor to shoot a one and one 3.14 to go. Tied at 21. Delta has not led since a 5-3 game by my count. But they have an opportunity to take the lead here as Willie Egan's Jr. will go to the free throw line. Porter went out. Isaiah Thompson came in for him, Jordan. First free throw from Egan's is good. And that gives Delta back the lead. And we'll set the floor here for ICC. Out we have Deshaun Berry. Isaiah Thompson, Walter Hamilton, Hunter Stacy, and Brandon Brown on the floor. Second free throw from Egan's no good. ICC clears the rebound, but now they trail it by one. They haven't trailed since the 18 minute mark, but they do trail now, but they'll be going back to the free throw line as Brandon Brown does a good job of getting out in front of Taylor Anderson. Then he gets Anderson on his back. Easy foul call there. And Brown will go to the line for two as that's team foul number 10 against the Trojans. Second foul for Anderson. As they've got four guys now with two fouls in the first half. First free throw from Brandon Brown is up and it is good. Now we're knotted back up at 22 apiece. We needed that. We missed our last four free throws. And Brown's yeah. able to convert on both of those. So last time up the floor he missed two. This time he hits two. That gets back to that 50% mark on the night from the charity stripe. As we'll see, Taylor Anderson subs off the floor. But they bring another guy back out there with two fouls. It's Shamarvius Hodges. So at this point, they only traveled nine guys tonight. Well, four of those guys have two fouls. So you do the math there. You got some foul go. trouble on the bench for Coach Derek Fears. ICC set. In a 1 2 and 2. 1 2 2 half court zone. Don't see that very often. This is about the fifth or sixth different look we've seen tonight from ICC defensively. Air ball out of the corner. Rebound flies all over the place and finally tied up down to the low block. Walter Hamilton got tied up with Jakiah Black. It'll be a jump ball, possession arrow, points to Delta. Four seconds on the shot clock. The inbound pass comes into the corner. Two point once he's one step inside the three-point line. It was no good, but the rebound there cleared by Black, and he's able to finish it off the left side glass and give the Trojans back the lead. Black's been solid off the bench, got six quick points. They've done a great job on the glass, too. Black and Banks have really, really controlled the game down low as far as the rebounding column is concerned. ICC trailing by one, 215 to play in the first half. Swings the ball around at the top of the key on offense. Now into the corner to Hunter Stacy. The three-point man drills home his first attempt of his young career here at ICC. As that's what he's known for. If he gets set up there in the corner, that's, that's his game, that three-point bucket. He drills home that first one. Now give and go with Banks. Left side layup, no good, and ICC's got the ball, and they're out running. Brandon Brown up the left side, tries to get into the glass, kicks into the corner again. Stacy this time, front iron no good, but Brown there with the left hand. Rebound, he finishes it left side, and a little run here for ICC is giving them back the lead at 28-24. to Good energy by the Indians. Good job of Brandon Brown. When Stacy hit that three, you saw the energy of the entire team. 
perked up, even the bench. And you saw him on that defensive rebound, really try to get out there and run as well. Still in that 1-2-2 half-court zone as they try to swing the floor. Brandon Brown picks it off and out of the hands of Hunter Stacy. He'll lay it in off the right side. The freshman out of Biggersville with five quick points here back into the contest. As timeout on the floor, Coach Derek Fears will burn one of those. We will take this timeout as well. We'll be back with more first half action from Fulton right after this. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Thirty to twenty-four, ICC leads at one sixteen to play here in the first half. But a good, I believe it's a 7-0 run for ICC. They trail it by one, a 7-0 run. They've taken a six-point lead here, Jim. And it all started with some intensity on the defensive end. No doubt about it. Good defense, as you mentioned. We equaled our largest lead tonight. 105 left halftime, 30-24, to 24, Indians up. Back into man-to-man -man defense for ICC defensively. It's operating off the near side in the corner. Ball is knocked loose, flying all over the place. Here comes Black down the key, kicks off to Kauto, who puts up a shot, no good, and rebound falls into the hands of Brandon Brown. Great opportunity for ICC here to really take control in the last couple of seconds of the first half as Barry kicks back up top. Three-point attempt on the way, no good off the right side, but they did go two for one there, so they will have an opportunity to get another shot here. Five seconds separates the game clock and the shot clock as Delta operates off at left side lay-in is good for Willie Egan's Jr. Cuts the lead to four and ICC will have the basketball. So 20 seconds on the game clock, shot clock is turned off and if ICC does everything just right, they'll be able to hold it for the last shot here of the first half. This is where it really pays off to have a sophomore leader like Brandon Brown who can handle the ball for you. He's been in these situations before. Five seconds on the clock, goes left side, he's gonna pull up, kicks to Hunter Stacy, who pump fakes, pulls up three out of the corner. Good if it goes, and it's good for Hunter Stacy. And that will give him eight points in the first half, all eight coming in the last two minutes. And, and Jim, you know, you've heard so many coaches say this before. When you get that last bucket like that right before the half, boy, does that take some momentum into the locker room with you. No doubt about it. Great defensive effort. We hit some shots here at the end. It was tied up, I think, with about three minutes left. We stretched it to a seven-point lead here into halftime. 33-26, ICC leads it after halftime break. We will quick, take a quick timeout, and we'll come back with the Little Caesars halftime show. We'll take an uh, update a Sonic Studio update from Adam Gore. We'll see what's happening in the ladies' game, and we'll update you on all the first half happenings here from Fulton. This is ICC Basketball on the ICC Sports Network. The outlook for overpriced pizza has never been better. Who's going to stop us? <laughs> Sir, Little Caesars has the lowest price pizza delivered, guaranteed. We're not big pizza. We're Little Caesars. Get $5 off your first delivery. Pizza, pizza. Parmesan, Asiago, and fresh mozzarella. All this cheesing is rather pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, tastes like a million bucks. Pepperoni Cheezer Cheezer, only $7. Pizza, pizza. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. Today tastes like a Sunday ritual. And it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me. And the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. 
I feel like I'm the good kind of spicy. It means you got an edge. I got an yeah. edge. He's got some ump, and I got some ump. I don't know about your ump, but uh, impatience doesn't equal spicy. Mm -hmm. Sonic <laughs> chicken slinger. Is it a good ump or a bad ump? <laughs> Would you rather eat in the car or eat at the dinner table at home? Why eat in the car? You can turn on some tunes. Uh, uh, dancing, eating. You know how weird we'd look if we did this at the kitchen table? Sonic wacky back. Right now, we just having a good time. Hey. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is what we anticipate, what we work for, what we want to improve. At Itawamba Community College, we offer the courses, pathways, and the training that can help turn your vision of tomorrow into a reality. So why wait? Your tomorrow can start today at Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Pleased to have you with us here inside the Davis Events Center. Men's basketball action as ICC leads Mississippi Delta 33-26 at the halftime break. This is the Little Caesars Halftime Show. The quickest pizza in Itawamba County just got even quicker thanks to the Little Caesars app. Just place your order from the convenience of your phone, and it'll be hot and ready before you can get to 1405 South Adams Street to pick it up. I may have to stop over there at Little Caesars on my way back to Tupelo here in just a little bit. Jim, as Jim Ingram alongside... I mean, here I'm Jordan Smith. We've got Adam Gore. We'll have a studio update with him here in just a minute, as well as C.J. Adams helping us engineer this broadcast tonight. Jim, let's kick it over. Let's take a look at that scoring column and get an update on where we stand here after the first half. Thank you, Jordan. First game of the year. We are winning 33-26, to ICC 33, Delta 26 at halftime. Leading tonight, first half scoring, Brandon Brown, the sophomore guard from Memphis, Tennessee, has eight. Hunter Stacey, the freshman for Bakersfield, came off the bench, hit some big threes. He has eight points. T.J. Wallace, the sophomore for Amory, has five. Freshman Ken Mims has two. Deshaun Berry, the freshman Hulka, has two. Rod Jones, the 6'1 freshman for Albany, Georgia, has three. And Rodarian Pendleton, the veteran from Provine, Jackson, has five points. Mississippi Delta leading tonight. Morgan Green has three. Shamaris Hodge has two. Jared Sharp has two. Will Egan's Jr. has three. We mentioned Clay Chavis Banks, the 6'5", 240-pound man underneath, leading the team with eight points. Kawato has two, and Jakob Black came off the bench, has six points. Right now at halftime, 33-26, Indians. Jim, when I think about that first half, the one thing that sticks out to me is, first off, the intensity that, that ICC played with. Both teams really played with that intensity. But the way that they were able to transition from defensive set to defensive set, specifically out of timeouts and on inbound plays, you, you could see that the youngsters at guard for Delta, uh, they, there was a struggle there. And that defense so often leads to points on the offensive end, and that's what happened for the Indians in the first half. Give Coach Bozeman and Coach Fox a lot of credit tonight. They switched up the defenses a lot, got them off balance. We saw man-to-man. -man. We had zone. We had one 2, -two zone. A lot of pressure out in the backcourt caused a lot of problems and turnovers for Delta, and that's why we have a seven-point lead here, 33-26. Starts with your defense, and we played very well defensively first half. So the Indians lead it by seven at the halftime break. You know, the schedule's very different this year. Typically, we would be having a doubleheader here tonight. Instead, the women are on the road down at Mississippi Delta, so we're going to kick it over to the studio, to Adam Gore. He's got a live look in at that contest. He'll get us up to date on everything that's happening outside of Fulton right now. Adam, Sonic Studio update time. Thanks, guys. It looks like we're about to wrap up the first quarter of play here at Mississippi Delta. You see the final seconds running off the clock there. ICC scores to take an 18-14 to 14 lead there in the first quarter. The shot up at the buzzer is off the mark and no good. Again, if you want to watch this game, it is available on Mississippi Delta's YouTube page. Just simply search Mississippi Delta Athletics and you'll find it there. We're going to take a break and come back with another in inside look at the ball game right after this. It's the Little Caesars Halftime Report. ICC men's lead at 33-26 at the break. The outlook for overpriced pizza has never been better. Who's gonna stop us? <laughs> Sir, Little Caesars has the lowest price pizza delivered, guaranteed. We're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. Get $5 off your first delivery. Pizza, pizza. Parmesan, Asiago, and fresh mozzarella. All this cheesing is rather pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Tastes like a million bucks. Pepperoni Cheezer Cheezer. Only $7. Pizza, pizza. Hey, Indian fans. I'm Ricky Murphy, real estate agent, Tommy Morgan Realtors, and I'm also a proud alumni of the All-American Marching Band. Itawamba Community College was my home for two years, and where you decide to make your home will be one of the most important decisions of your life. 
whether you're looking to create a plan to buy your first home or if you're ready today to make a move into your forever home, give me a call or send me a message so we can discuss your next move. And for my family, Roll Trash! Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. The longer a person has diabetes, the more likely they are to develop diabetic retinopathy. If left untreated, diabetic retinopathy can lead to blindness. That's why it's important for diabetics to have a comprehensive eye examination with dilation once a year. I'm Dr. Laurie Cagle of Cagle Eye Center in Fulton. We offer comprehensive eye exams to provide diagnosis and treatment of various eye diseases. Browse our large selection of frames available in prescription and non-prescription. Call to schedule your appointment today at Cagle Eye Center in Fulton. The outlook for overpriced pizza has never been better. Who's gonna stop us? <laughs> Sir, Little Caesars has the lowest price pizza delivered, guaranteed. We're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. Get $5 off your first delivery. Pizza, pizza. Parmesan, Asiago, and fresh mozzarella. All this cheesing is rather pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, tastes like a million bucks. Pepperoni Cheezer Cheezer, only $7. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back here in Fulton. Your score, ICC leading Mississippi Delta 33-26 in the men's game. For the Lady Indians, they're on the road right now getting ready to start the second quarter of play. They lead Mississippi Delta 18-14. to We're going to listen in on part of this game here. They continue to have clock issues going over there as we uh, check in now with this live look in. Number 14 recovers for the Trojans. She drives it back, loses control of the ball. Picks it back up, number 11 takes a three point and makes it. That's number 11 for the Trojans. Willis, freshman from Lumberton, standing at five foot nine. Three points for the Trojans. And we got to travel for the Indians here on number four. Possession switches back over for the Trojans. And we now got number four. Pass it over number 14, looks for an open shot, drives it in, and we got a travel. Got a travel on the Trojans. Number five for the Indians, throws it into number 12. Number 12. Number 12 stands at the top of the key, she drives it in. And looks like there is a foul. Number four. So that's been a live studio update brought to you by Sonic. Text Sonic to 876-642 to get special offers. Message and data rates may apply. As we're back to action here in the Davis Event Center from Fulton. 33-26, ICC leads it after the first half. First possession of the half for ICC. Dribble drive off the right side for Wallace is no good. Here out in transition comes Delta, and wisely pulling it out top is Morgan Green, and they'll reset on the offensive end. Entry pass down onto the low block, working against Brandon Brown. Up and under, no good, but there he is again. Chavis Banks, left hand. He gets the rebound and the putback. That's the key to the entire game plan for Delta right there. He's he's the wheel that gets the cart rolling. Nobody, 6'5", 240. They need to take their time get the ball to him. He's leading the team with 10 points. He's leading everybody in scoring right now in double figures. ICC up, up top with Brandon Brown, fakes the three, drives left side, tries to finish off the glass, no good. Gets his own rebound, no good the second time. Third time, no good. Into his hands the fourth time as they wrestle for it on the ground, and there's whistle and a jump ball. Well, Brandon Brown is gonna pad the rebounding stat there, but unfortunately, couldn't finish it. 33-28, we just started the second half. 19.04 left in the second half. Tie ball goes to Mississippi Delta, bringing the ball up the court. ICC not reset, pass over the top. They had a great look at it, but here Banks left side can't finish. Rebound will be controlled by ICC. Now ICC two on one out front, alley-oop chance, no good, and there's a foul in the process. 
Well, Jones had thrown the alley-oop to T.J. Wallace, trying to finish off the left side, and he gets undercut in the process, which probably was smart. It's a lot easier. That's the third foul on Sharp. On Sharp. So three fouls on Sharp, two on Parks, two on Hodges, and two on Anderson for Delta. They only traveled nine guys, so that's some major foul trouble for Mississippi Delta. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Wallace gives to Brown. Brown's going to give back to Rod Jones. Cross court pass to Wallace. Now down low into the post for Mims. Into the corner now with Jones. Drives baseline, pass to Mims off left side. Good if it goes, but it rattles in. No good foul in the process, and he'll go to the line for two. Good ball movement on that offensive possession for ICC as they've come out of the break with that, that same intensity. You know, you worry sometimes as you have that momentum going to the locker room, can you replicate it when you come back out? So far, not been a problem for the Indians. And that's Morgan Green's third foul for Delta also. Well, they got Anderson that time. Oh, they got Anderson. They got Taylor Anderson on that one. But that is his third foul. Gotcha. So three on Sharp and three on Anderson. His second free throw from them is good. So one for four off the line on the night for Key and Mims. ICC leads it by six, 18-34 to play. Defensively, gonna go back into that pressing action for ICC. Had a lot of success with it in the first half. We'll see some more of it here to open the second half. Lazy pass across the floor, lucky to hold on to it for Delta. It's down to the post whistle, that's a travel. There's a drug that plant foot once again. Jakiah Black is going to get called for that one. The turnover will give ICC the basketball. Good defense by the Indians. 18-15 left in the ball game. 34-28, Indians up by six over Delta. So a little different look here as we'll see Rod Jones, the freshman from Albany, Georgia, bring the basketball up the floor. As it's been Brandon Brown at the point most of the night, but they got him down low, banging in the post. Mims handles the ball well to be a big guy, but lost control that time. And the pass will be handled by Delta. Now up the floor in a hurry. The layup off the right side is good for Morgan Green, and that's points off turnovers, a very important stat that coaches like to look at. Delta's going to add to that column. Four-point lead for ICC. As Mims controls the basketball in the backcourt. Off the right side wing, dribble drive, fights through contact, goes up and in. They're going to say whistle and a charge. Wasn't a ton of contact there, and it looked like he had split the two defenders. But nonetheless, call comes from across the way. A charge on Mims. That's his first personal, team's first, but we're going to see him sub off the floor. And Hunter Stacy, who really took over in the last three minutes of the first half, the freshman from Biggersville, comes back onto the floor. Out of the trap into the half-court man-to-man defense here for ICC. As a cut away from the ball. Good look. Now fade away to a shot. Rebound fault four and is controlled now by Rod Jones. Jones, left hand. Up the floor he comes in a hurry. Numbers for ICC. Jones, good pass, and he gets it to T.J. Wallace, who's fouled as he tries to finish it off the right side. But a little no-look pass there from Jones. Almost was able to be finished off the right side. That foul goes against Egan's. Well, you're going to be hard-pressed to find somebody on the Delta side without any fouls, but you did there. Willie Egan's gets his first personal. First free throw attempt from Wallace off the front iron and no good. Interesting story for T.J. Wallace. He's a sophomore. His first year playing here at ICC. Where was he last year? He was at Delta. So he's played against his old teammates tonight as he's one for two off the free throw line there. That gives him six points so far in the contest. And let's see if they go into more of that trap off the made free throw. Typically, that's what you'll see, and that's going to be it. A 1-2-2 two, two trap as they're trapped right here in front of us on the logo. They're able to somehow get rid of the basketball and reset. But, Jim, this is what that does. It gives you so much less clock to work with offensively. It's only 18 seconds on the shot clock as they set on offense there. Three-point shot, no good. ICC now in transition. Whistle and another foul on Delta as ICC pressing the issue down the floor. Jordan, you mentioned they've only got nine players, and they are racking up the fouls very quickly tonight. Second one on Willie Egan's junior, fourth team foul. And we've only played three minutes here in the second half. They've already got four fouls. 35 to 30, Indians up by five with the ball. 16-40 left in the ball game. Down low to Brandon Brown. Face up to the goal. 
Cross pass to Rod Jones in the corner. Jones for three. Back iron no good. Rebound, though, is ICC. It's off the back glass and up and good for Shermontis Mitchell. Good job crashing the glass there for the sophomore, and Mitchell goes into the scoring column. Well, he's biggest lead in the for seven-point lead. Seven-point lead for the Indians, 16-20 to play. As you can see, they want to get the ball down low to Chavis Banks. That's been where the offense has been able to flow through when they've had to set offensively. Banks leads scoring with 10 points. And I would venture to say he's probably had 10 rebounds too. Probably a double-double so far on the night for Banks. His fadeaway jumper off the charity stripe is good for Shamovarius Hodges. A good-looking bucket there as he's able to get a, just a little bit of room and gets a shot up in and good. Rod Jones starts right, comes back left. Now right again, gets it all the way down low off the glass. No good, but fouled in the process. And there's a whistle again. I mean, that's five team fouls against the Trojans. Four minutes and 18 seconds into the half. That one will go against Morgan Green, his second personal. So let's just take a look at this. Two fouls on Green, two on Hodges, two on Parks, and two on Egan's. Three on Anderson and three on Sharp. First free throw from Jones, back iron, no good. Jordan, I don't have the free throw percentage tonight, but we are missing way too many, about 50% shooting tonight from free throw line. We could pull away from this ball game. By the way, great move by Rob Jones. Crossed over there, had a shot at the goal. Need to make these free throws. Second one from Jones. There we go. It's in and good. And again, let's see, let's see what they do off the made free throw. Typically, that's where you see that defensive switch, and we're going to see it again here. Just going to pick up into a half-court man-to-man as Rod Jones will cover Morgan Green, who walks the basketball up the floor. Green gives off to his left side, now top of the key, asks for it back, and gets it. 15 seconds on the shot clock, looking for somewhere to go. Right side to Hodges, now down low, pass is knocked loose by Hunter Stacy, who covered it just well. Brandon Brown, in transition, brings the ball up the floor, gives to Stacy, who thought about shooting it possibly there, but now Gibb goes off into the corner. Jones goes right, comes back left, loses it as he goes up, as he made a great move to get it all the way to the glass, but just couldn't hold on to it all the way through. Now oh. transition, Hunter Stacy says no sir, as he gets up and swats one away. Good defense by the freshman there. <laughs> you see the grin there on his face. I'm not sure that he was really expected no. to be able to block that shot either. And I don't think the Delta man thought he was gonna block it. Stacy having a nice opening night here of his career for ICC. Baby hook shot, no good. Rebound goes to ICC's Brandon Brown, who's fighting through contact all the way up the floor. Tries to take it all the way, and he gets fouled in the process, but he twisted mm. up that ankle just a little bit as he hobbles over here beside us. He's going to try to stretch that out before going to the free throw line. That foul will go against Tobias Parks. So add Parks to the group of guys that have three fouls. Because I can't tell if he twisted up an ankle or caught a little bit of a cramp. Wants to stretch that out and, and get it to the free throw line. His officials doing a good job holding the basketball, letting him stretch that out and try to get his feet back under him before attempting these free throws. First one up and good. That's one thing Brandon Brown does a great job of. Is he's, he's big enough to where he can get down low and beat and bang and get rebounds, but as soon as he gets his hands on it, his intention is taking it coast to coast. He's no trying to get it to the glass as fast as he can. And, you know, you're going to have a lot of success with that. Second free throw in and good for Brown as well. But you're going to get fouled or you're going to convert a layup nine times out of ten, and, and that's what he really does a, a good job of leading there. He's going straight to the locker room, hopefully, to get it looked at. Leading the team with 10 points, 40 to 32, ICC up by eight. Biggest lead of the game, 14-40 left until the ball game's over. Guys, real quick, checking in over at Moorhead, ICC Lady Indians building their biggest lead of the night, 31-21, 329 to go in the second quarter. ICC men here in Fulton had pushed it out to an eight-point lead, but a quick three-point trade by Delta cuts it back to five. And, you know, Jim, it's one of those games where it feels like the men have really been in control of the tempo all the way through. They've not been able to push that no, lead out more hadn't. than six to seven points consistently, though. Stacy off the left side wing. No look pass to Pendleton, who has trouble holding on to it. 
Gets it back to Stacy now into the corner. Three-point basket up and good there by Tremontis Mitchell. Well, Mitchell not always the guy you think is going to be the stretch guy to stretch you out beyond the arc, but he does it there. Nice-looking stroke from the sophomore. Didn't get the seal out of Tremontis in the first half as he got into some foul trouble there early. Didn't play the last 16 minutes of the half, but five quick points here in the second half for the sophomore. Trying to use the glass there as shot no good. Whistle and an over-the-back foul call. Oh, no, they're going to get they're gonna get Pendleton, Pendleton for it. Well, Pendleton is 5'10". <laughs> Wisdom Kayutu is 6'7". I thought he had him blocked out, but they're going to get Pendleton for the call. So the Trojans hold possession. The inbound pass is knocked away by Pendleton. ICC leads it. They've stretched it back to eight points, which is the tie to the largest lead of the night either way. 13.42 to go in the contest. Sharp gets the pass in to the big man down low. As he lowers his shoulder, that's an yeah, obvious yeah. charge there. As he turned that right shoulder right into Shamontis Mitchell. Mitchell takes that charge, and that gives the ball right back to the Indians. Second foul of the contest for Kautu, and that's the seventh foul of the half, so it'll be one and one. The rest of the way through, it, at least until we get to the double bonus, it'll be two shots as you move forward. Stacy with the basketball, top of the key, kicks left side to Pendleton. Pendleton tries to direct traffic, gets Jones to come back up top to get it. 12 seconds on the shot clock, corner to Stacy, pump fake, gives back to Pendleton, who pulls up from NBA range, mm. and he misses everything. Shermontis Mitchell saves it, though, kicks out top to Deshaun Berry, who wasn't expecting that basketball there, shuffle those feet. A travel violation. Take those two points away, and Delta will have the ball. 13-11, left of the ball game. Indians up 43-35 to over Delta Trojans. By my count, Coach Bozeman has been able to go 11 deep into his bench. Pretty equal playing time for everybody. And it looks like fresh legs across the board. It's a nice pass down to the baseline as Jerry Sharp comes out of the corner, lays it up off the right side, and cuts the lead back to six. We saw a little bit of pressure early on from Delta. Looks like we're going to see that again here as they go into that full court man-to-man -man defense. Rod Jones and Pendleton break it to two of them. Ball goes into the corner to Mitchell. Now three-point shot for Stacy in, and good. He hit that one from downtown, too. It's a good screen down low. He's wide open, and the freshman from Biggersville drills it home from straight on. Leading the team with 11 points. He's three from three from three-point range. Whistle. About 45 feet away from the basket, a hand check call. Third foul of the half for ICC. So three fouls on the Indians, seven on the Trojans. They got Deshaun Berry for that one, his first personal. Nine point lead for ICC, largest lead of the night for the Indians. As Delta operates, as you look at your screen from right to left, Anderson gives off top to Egan's, Egan's right side, now back to Green. Green gets it into the lane, now kicks back up top to Sharp, who drives right side, cut off by Mims. Kip goes back to Egan's, cut off by Stacy. now pulls up for a shot, two seconds, nowhere to go with rebound control by the Indians. Great defensive possession right there as settling for a really a not very good look with two seconds left. Coach Bozeman gonna be happy with his possession there. Good job by the defense. Largest lead tonight for the Indians, up by nine, 46-37, 11.50 left in the ball game. Jones with it, left side corner. Cross court pass to Stacy, pulls up for three off the wing. Front iron, no good. Rebound will be cleared, but they're going to say whistle and a foul. And I think they're going to get Jerry a Sharp for a hold on the rebound. And that's the fourth foul on Sharp. And that's a one and one opportunity for ICC. So ICC is going to shoot free throws the rest of the way. As Brandon Brown came out of the tunnel. And sat down, and now he's turned and he's gone back into the tunnel. So, mm. not sure what the prognosis there is. We'll try to get word of that as soon as possible. Front end of the one and one, no good by Antoine Porter. So, it remains a nine point lead for the Indians. Green, the freshman at point guard, is going to give off to Sharp, who drives right side, whistle, and a charge. And Sharp just fouled out of the ballgame. Well, when you've only got nine guys, you're kind of limited as to what you can do. But that is five fouls on Jerry Sharp, and he is fouled out of the game with 11 minutes and 30 seconds to play. 
And they're Sharp, down to eight players. Sharp had two points in the first half. He had two in the third or two in the second half so far. But Coach Derek Fears is, is going to have to think about this and, and see what he wants to do as he moves forward. Uh, there's foul trouble all over the place. They've got nine team fouls. Sharp has fouled out. There's three on Parks, three on Anderson, two on Kyoto, two on Egan's, two on Hodges, and two on Green. So with all that said, nine-point lead for the Indians. They've got an opportunity for the first time tonight to stretch it to double digits. Jones down the floor, kicks to Stacy left side corner. No look pass back to Jones, who pointed to pull up from three. Doesn't do that, steps inside and lost control of the basketball. You like the ball movement there, but again, almost just like one too many passes. Right. You've got an open look there. Nine times out of ten, you want to take it. As Morgan Green... Verging on out of control down the floor, but he gets fouled in the process as he goes up with the left hand. As Antoine Porter is going to get called for his third foul. And that may call for him to be subbed out here as well. For the first time tonight, we'll see Morgan Green go to the charity stripe. Three points for the freshman out of Greenville High School. First free throw up and no good. As Green, the freshman, has drew a start tonight in his first action for the Trojans. As Brandon Brown back onto the floor. So he'd come out, he'd sat down, he went back to the tunnel, and now he's back out there again. So hopefully that was just a cramp or maybe just a little minor ankle roll. But good to see Brandon back out there on the floor. Second free throw up and good by Green. So he gets one out of the two and cuts the lead back to eight. Brown controlling the basketball, loses handle momentarily. Now kicks up into the corner to Stacy, All the way back across out top to Mims. Now Stacy again from the wing, in and out, not quite there for the freshman. And the rebound goes to Delta. Delta pushing the tempo now off those rebounds as Green really tried to make something happen quick. Cross-court pass into the corner. A little bit of trouble there as they try to feed down low to Chavis Banks. And a good job of Porter getting in there and swatting that ball away. That's an interesting battle to watch down low as Banks has 50 pounds and two or three inches on Porter. Porter knows, got to front that post, swat that ball away, and he does it right there. Guys, real quick, halftime, ICC leading Mississippi Delta, 35-29 on the road for the Lady Indians and their home opener this season. Well, if you're going to get back into the ball game, Jim, that's how you do it there as Hodges goes up off the right side, gets fouled in the process. So an and-one opportunity for the sophomore guard out of Indianola Gentry. Did not start the contest, but has played – a ton throughout the first 30 minutes of this game. Free throw is up and good for Samarvius Hodges. I got him with seven points. As the ball was lost by Pendleton coming up the floor, officials are extending their arms, not sure where to go with it. <clears throat> is it having a conversation back at the free throw line? I thought he dribbled it off his knee, but I could be wrong. They're going to have to call it a jump ball. They did not see it. Possession is ICC's. We might have called a break. Yeah, it looks like we might have caught a little bit of a break right we'll there. We'll take it. We'll take it any way we can get it. That's exactly right. So we've got a whistle again, trying to get things straight over at the scorer's table. It is a jump ball. Possession will go to the Indians. As Coach Derek Fears. <laughs> he's, he's visibly frustrated with that one, and I, I can understand that to an extent. As the question is, how, how does nobody on the floor see who it went out of bounds on? Well, nonetheless, ICC's got it. Pendleton with it over at the wing. Kicks back to Brown up top. Now Porter with it. Gives back to Brown, and Brown's trying to reset the offense. A little confusion out there. It's Ten seconds on the shot clock. One-on-one -on -one as Anderson covers Brandon Brown. Brown starts right, back left. Now kicks off left side. Pull up jumper no good over there for T.J. Wallace and a whistle on the rebound against ICC. Foul will go on 24 key and Mims, his second personal, team sixth. And this has turned into a bit of a foul fest here. 46-41, Indians up by five, playing Mississippi Delta here, home opener. Ten minutes left in the ball game. I don't recall Morgan Green coming off the floor tonight for Delta. He's ran the point. All night long, the freshman loses control. Key and Mims with it up the right side. Has one man to beat, gets around him, lays it up off the right side. That's how you navigate out in transition. As Delta wanted to draw that charge, Mims gets around him and just lays it up very nicely off the right side. Hodges 
pump fake at the elbow, steps back to the free throw line and hits the jump shot there. Nice looking jumper by the sophomore Shamarvius Hodges, who had two points at the half. He's got seven here in the second half to lead scoring for Delta in the second half. Brandon Brown turns back left towards the elbow. Now gives go corner to Mims, who lowers that shoulder, gets in there low, misses the shot, but the rebound is cleared by T.J. Wallace. Wallace tried to give back to Mims, pass deflected out of bounds, and it does go off of Delta. So substitution time for ICC, and they're going to take Brandon Brown back off the floor. Yeah, you know, he's kind of nursing a bit of an ankle there, so going to try to work on the amount of time he plays, and Hunter Stacy will come back into the game. Shot clock resets to 20 off the inbound as Wallace operating off the screen from Mims. Kicks back up top to Pendleton. Now back to Wallace off the right side wing. Goes to his left. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Dribble drive down low. Loses handle. And, I, and North, excuse me, Mississippi Delta comes away with it. Out in transition, Morgan Green tries to finish off the right side. And that's probably a pretty good foul, good foul by, by Hunter Stacy. Stacy. No don't, doubt about don't it. Don't give him that rebound very easily. Make him work for it. Stacy only has one foul on him, so that'll be his second personal. That'll make Green go to the free throw line to try to earn them. 48-43, Indians up by five, 8.50 left in the ball game. One and one opportunity for Morgan Green. No, they're, they're going to say was a shooting foul. Was a shooting foul, so we'll get two shots. Front end is good. I got Green with seven points tonight, four in the second half. And he's really done a good job as a freshman. Your first college action, you've seen probably five or six different defensive looks from ICC. And, yeah, they've struggled here and there with that, but they've, he's navigated it pretty well and really done all you can ask. He's played well enough to win at the point guard spot. No doubt in that. We had a nine-point lead. It's down to three now with 8.50 left in the ball game. ICC 48, Mississippi Delta 45. And ICC led it by nine with 13 minutes to go. That lead has been chiseled down to three at the 8.45 mark. Rod Jones controls the offense, kicks across the floor to Pendleton. Now Stacy back over to the right side wing. Stacy goes left, looks for somewhere to go with the ball, and he finds Rod Jones. Jones starts right, comes back left. No look past Antoine Porter. They're going to say foul and a charge on Rod Jones. 50-50 call there goes the way of Mississippi Delta as they get set, get the charge call, and they're going to have a chance to tie here on this possession. You know, we played uh... – Roughly 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes. We got a total of 17 fouls already here in the second half. Quick pass up the floor to Hodges, who finishes it again with a little fadeaway jumper, and Hodges has heated up. That's where the offense is coming from here in the second half for Delta, and that lead that was nine is now back down to one with 8-10 to play. Key and Mims walking up the far side, now picks up the pace, lays up off the left side. Hey, if they're going to give him that lane there to drive, He's going to lay it up off the block very easily and push the lead back out to three. Nice job there by Mims. Hodges fakes the three, now gives off down low to Parks. Parks starts right, comes back left, puts up a shot off the front iron, no good, and the rebound cleared by Mims. Mims going to bring it up the floor himself as they've really extended that half-court defense. Into the corner to Stacy. now back to Mims. Looking down low to Antoine Porter. Great entry pass Good there job. by Mims. Puts it right in the bread basket of Antoine Porter, and he lays it up off the right-hand side. First two points tonight for Porter. Stretches lead to five points, 7.25 left in the ball game. Like what I've seen out of Key and Mims tonight at 6'6", 202. He's what you would think of as your prototypical post player, but he shows you an ability to handle the basketball. Looks good passing it there as he can be that stretch four guy for you when you need it. And he's a freshman from Fort Mill, South Carolina. When you go out of state to get them, you got to get good ones. And yeah, it looks no like doubt. they've done a good job with that. It's Porter trying to make something happen that you probably don't want to with six seconds on the shot clock. It's extended that defense a little bit too far. Foul, you know, 40 feet away from the basket almost, and a one-on-one -one opportunity upcoming and it's for fourth. Delta. Fourth foul of the night on Antoine Porter. So that'll be a coaching moment there for Antoine as – like the intensity on defense, but sometimes you got to be just a little bit more careful. 52-47, ICC leads it. 7.05 to go in the contest. We will take this timeout as Coach Derek Fears has called his. We'll be right back on the ICC Sports Network right after this. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zell in the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. 
Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. Today tastes like a Sunday ritual. And it never tasted this good. Back here inside the Davis Event Centers, we got a good one brewing. 7.05 remaining, 52 to 47. ICC leads. But it'll be at the charity stripe. Morgan Green has a one and one opportunity for Delta. First one up and good. And Jim, just as we look back here at the second half, it's it's been a foul fest. 18 fouls through almost 13 minutes of right. play. This one's probably going to come down to who can convert off the free throw line. Second free throw up coming for Green. As he lets go of it, it is in and good, and that shaves the lead back down to three again. Into the full court press goes Delta. They're going to make ICC earn everything they can get down the stretch here as Key and Mims brings the ball up the sideline. There's the whistle and the foul against Tobias Parks. That's his fourth foul. And, and that's the thing, you know, is if you're going to press like that, you got to be careful because you've got nine players. One's already fouled out. Right. Now you've got another one with four, another one with three. I mean, eventually it does become a numbers game for Coach Derek Fierce over there. With that foul, that's the tenth on the Trojans. So ICC shooting two the rest of the way through as Key and Mims will head to the stripe. First one for Mims, back iron, no good. And that's the thing is when you get into this double bonus opportunity with seven minutes to play, you're going to get a lot of opportunities. You've got to convert when you get there. And Jordan, to be honest, we're only up by three. We'd be up almost double digits if we were hitting our free throws tonight. Second one, just like the first one, back iron, no good. And still just a three-point lead for ICC. Morgan Green, entry pass down low to Chavis Banks. There was nobody anywhere around him, and he just lays it up off the left side. The big guy, Banks, got a little bit of rest, and suddenly there he is right back into the scoring column again. He had eight in the first half to lead all scoring. He's got four in the second half. One-point game, ICC leads it with possession of the ball. Pass goes under the corner to Rod Jones. Now back up top to Brandon Brown. Hunter Stacy had the hot hand early. He gives off to Mims, who goes off left side, finds himself in the middle of the paint, comes back right, lays up that way. No good as he's fouled and rolls over into the official. Did he, did he kick him in the face? And his foot got him up towards the face. He might call two fouls on him. No. That foul goes on 14, Chavis Banks. Well, if there is a silver lining in the foul situation for Delta, it is that that's Banks first. First foul, and he's leading the team with 12 points. Need these free throws here for Key and Mims. First one rolls around no good. Well, that's three in a row missed off the stripe for Mims. And in a one-point game, I mean, suddenly that becomes a problem. Second shot up from Mims. It front iron's no good. Four consecutive misses off the stripe for the freshman. 52-51, ICC leads it. Delta has a chance to take the lead here, but dribbled off the foot of Shamarvius Hodges. Turnover, and ICC gets it right back. A substitution time for the Indians. They're going to sub off Mims, and back onto the floor comes Antoine Porter. So Porter's got to be careful. He's got four fouls, and he's back out there with 6.14 to play. Full court pressure again as ICC is going to be trapped up top. There's lots of contact there. No foul call. Pass comes up top to Stacy. Stacy does all he can to keep it in bounds, but nowhere to go with the ball. Out front comes the little point guard. The freshman, Morgan Green, finishes with the right hand off the left side, and the Trojans have taken the lead with 5.54 to play. Hodge and Green have nine apiece here in the second half for Delta. That's why they got a 53-52 lead. The press was very good to ICC early on. Good to Delta right there. Three-point basket up from Stacy in the corner. Rattles out no good, but it's knocked loose by Antoine Porter in transition. Rod Jones with it. Knows he doesn't have numbers, and he's going to pull out and set up the offense. Gives back up top to Brandon Brown. Now back to Jones off the wing. Operating towards the left to Mitchell. Now to Stacy. Stacy is your three-point guy. Now back to Mitchell. Swings back over to Jones. Jones, pump fakes, drives right side, pulls up from 10 feet. Off the back, no good. And rebound goes to Delta. 
Again, pressure. That's all the way away from the basket, though. Porter's got to be careful. He's got four fouls. Here comes Green into the paint. Kicks back out top to Egan's. Egan's now going to reset the offense back over to Hughes in front of Coach Derek Fears. 15 seconds on the shot clock as we go under five minutes to play in the first contest of the season from the Davis Event Center. Eight seconds, seven seconds. Now Green rolls to the left, kicks to Egan's. Egan's going to have to make something happen with one second. Floater in the lane, rattles around and goes as he got it right to that logo in the paint and finishes it with the right hand as the time expires. 55-52, Delta's got a three-point lead, 4.30 left in the ball game. Brown walks the ball up the floor, needing a bucket here for ICC. A little weave action out top as Hunter Stacy with it, looking for somewhere to go. Goes left side to Mitchell. Now back to Brown. Brown starts back right, fakes the give off, now gets it into the lane, goes up left side, whistle on a foul, and that one's going to go against Willie Egan's Jr. Third foul of the night for Egan's. That's the 11th or 12th foul for the team as they're into the double bonus, and that will send Brandon Brown to the stripe for two. This is where we got to start knocking down the free throws right here, Jordan. Well, we made a comment at about the nine-minute mark that both teams were in some foul trouble, and this will probably come down to free throws. Well, that's a three-point contest with 4.16 to go, and it looks like we were spot on there. Browns, free, free throw off the back iron and no good. <clears throat> Substitutions for Delta as they're operating with only eight guys. As Jerry is sharp fouled out at the nine minute mark. As Hodges will sub off the floor. He's had one of the hot hands here in the second half for the Trojans. Second free throw, in and good for Brandon Brown. So he splits the two off the stripe, cuts the lead to two as the Trojans lead ICC 55 53 with 410 to play. ICC had some success with this trap early on. They do again. Barry picks the ball off. Here comes Brown off the right side. Lowers his arm, but he's fouled as he goes up for the layup. Off the right side. Two more free throws coming for the sophomore, Brandon Brown. Foul's going to go on zero. Morgan Green, his third personal. So as we look at the foul column again for the Trojans, three on Green, three on Anderson, four on Parks, and three on Egan. So they've definitely got some guys in some trouble as we operate down the stretch. First free throw up and good by Brandon Brown. Well, here's where you want your leader to step up and, and sink some free throws, tie your game back up, and let you get back into that press. See, that's where you've had your success. Need this free throw here from the sophomore. And they get it. Got it. Nice job there by Brown as he had eight points in the first half, five in the second half. He leads scoring for the Indians with 13. Back into the one 2, two press for ICC. 22 seconds on the clock, 20 now. That's got to be a 10-second call, and there's the whistle. As I was sitting there waiting on it. It got down to 19. Right. They still weren't across the line. <laughs> As coming out, ICC is going into that half court, that full court press, two possessions in a row. They got two turnovers in a row, and they trailed by three. Now they have a chance to take back the lead. Inbound pass to Brandon Brown. Just looking over the sideline, Coach Bozeman backs everybody up. A one-on-one -on -one situation for Brown. Now he kicks over corner to Hunter Stacy, who drives in the lane. No look past the Porter. Now back out top to Brown. Brown driving in there again. Stacy, top of the key, gives back to Brown. Reset of the offense at 12 seconds. Space the floor, and we'll see if Brown tries to drive in and get that foul once again. Seven seconds, six. Got to make something happen. There's the screen from Mitchell. Goes right, now back left. Fade away, jump shot at the buzzer. Front iron, no good, and rebound goes to Delta. Good defense by Delta. Tough shot for Brandon Brown. Up the floor in a hurry is Morgan Green. Drives in left side, some contact. Able to kick out back top. Now Anderson for three out of the corner and hits the bottom of the net. And good. Big bucket there by Taylor Anderson, who had not scored, had not scored on the night. scored in the entire game. Nails a three. Three minutes left in the ball game. 58-55, Trojans up by three. I still think the name of the game here is try to get down low, try to get foul. But Deshaun Berry for three, Big and he time. drives it home. Right in front of his home bench there. First points of the second half for Deshaun Berry, and we're knotted back up at 58. Pass back to Anderson, right where he hit the three a moment ago. Out top, zone set for the defense. Stacy covers Egan's, who drives right side, now kicks off into the corner. Now back up top right, gets it to the elbow. Entry pass down low, is knocked loose, out of bounds. It's off of Delta, diving for it there's Anderson, and ICC's got the basketball. We got a conversation between officials, though. Let's see if they change the call here. As the ball was headed out of bounds, and they're going to change it. They're going to give it back to Delta. I don't know about that. As Anderson dove for the ball as it's rolling out. 
they're going to say that we were out of bounds with it when we touched it. So gotcha. it was touched while it was out of bounds. 227 left in there. the ball game. We're all knotted up 58 apiece. ICC led this one by five at the seven minute mark, by nine at the 11 minute mark. But Delta stormed back and had some help from ICC who could not put things away on the, on the free throw line. That's got us knotted up at 58 apiece at 2.30 to play. Entry pass comes to Green. Cannot make the floater. Rebounds fought around with, and ICC is able to clear it out top. Well, Banks had his hands on it. He's been able to get most of those, but just couldn't quite hold on to it. As the big fella down low, he looks like he's a little bit tired there. As he's, he's played a good game here so far tonight. 15 on the shot clock. Stacy with it up top. Kick to Barry. He wants another one. He pulls up, rattles all over the rim. No good. Rebound to ICC. Brown gets it twice, and now kicks up top to Stacy. Stacy drives lane. Floater in the lane. Rolls around. Mm. No good. And ICC can't take the bucket. As a jump ball call, fighting for the rebound, Delta will clear it, but there's just a, a cover on the bucket right here. ICC's got to get it off. 58 all, under two to play, as Delta has possession of the basketball. ICC going to stretch out that full court press once again. Green swaps floor over to Egan's. Egan's up front to Anderson. Anderson's trapped on the logo out top. Now. Gets it back across the floor to Green, and that resets the offense at 18. Well, good job there by the freshman of breaking the press and letting things set. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Hughes in the corner, now down low. Trying to operate down low as Banks. He's fouled as he goes up, and that'll be a two-shot foul. He's finally able to post up there on the low block, turns that left side, gets it in there to the glass, and he got fouled as he went up. As foul goes on Hunter Stacy, his third personal, team's 10th. So we're in the double bonus both ways, the rest of the way through. Guys, a real quick check in on the Lady Indians. They're up 40 to 33 with 6.58 to go in the third quarter at Mississippi Delta. That's a Sonic Studio update with Adam Gore. Nice to hear the ladies having some success down at Delta. First free throw by Banks is good. Here's the second one, it's good as well. Banks is six of six on the night from the charity stripe. The big fella has had a good night. Two point lead for Delta, 130 to play. As ICC got to make something happen on the offensive end. They led it by seven at the half. But the tempo has really been controlled by Delta through the second half. Deshaun Berry gives back up top to Brandon Brown. Brandon calling for a screen from Antoine Porter. He gets that off the right side. Doesn't get much help, though. Now he operates, trying to get it into the paint. Comes back left, fights through contact. Shots up and good and foul in the process. ICC's tied it up and has a chance to take the lead with a minute and four seconds to play. Great job by Brown, drove the lane, got the shot to go, leading the team with 15 points. Could take the lead here if he makes his free throw. I believe they got Banks on the foul. I've not seen it put in officially. No, they're going to say it's on Green. It, is, it does go against Morgan Green, his fourth personal. But more importantly, Brandon Brown has an opportunity to take the lead right here with his free throw. And he's not able to convert. Off the back iron, no good. We're all knotted up at 60. Outlet pass comes to Morgan Green out top. Under one minute to play in the contest. All tied. Been a good one here. Can't ask for a better contest here in your first matchup of the year. Morgan Green between the circles out top. 45 seconds to play. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Working with the left hand. Kicks off into the corner to Hodges. Hodges back to Green. Thinks about pulling up for three. Finally fades away from the corner. Hits the iron no good. And rebound goes to Antoine Porter. Porter is fouled 90 feet away from the basket. We'll take it. So that will send Porter to the free throw line. There's 31 seconds on the game clock. So there will be a 1.3 second differential after the free throws. That's five fouls on Gr Who'd they get it up? They got it on Anderson. Anderson. And you could see the frustration from Derek Fears there on that foul. He's, you're 90 feet away from the basket, trying to clear on a rebound, and that's your fifth foul. So Delta only traveled nine guys tonight. Two of those have fouled out, and Anderson and Sharp, who fouled out at the nine-minute mark. So suddenly, you got to get creative over there. So they've got a minute to decide what they want to do. Finally, they've made that decision. We're going to see Ja'Kaia Black, who played a lot in the first half. He's going to come back out onto the floor. So on the floor for ICC here, Stacy, Brown, Porter, Mitchell, and Barry. That's the five they've got out there as Porter goes to the line for two. First free throw from Porter. 
Hits the bottom of the net and Looked good. Looked good. Looked very good. He won more of those right here from Antoine. Sophomore out of Bahia High School. Saw action in every game last year started 17 of those. That's a big shot here in game one of the season. Porter's free throw. Nice. Hits the back iron, goes down, and good. And that gives ICC a two-point lead with 31 seconds to go. We'll take this break as Coach Eric Bozeman has called that. 62-6, the ICC leads it. We'll be right back on the ICC Sports Network after this. If this just cost a little bit less. Let's take a look at that with the Renaissance replay. Make the right call with over 400,000 shopping discounts right from the Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking app. Might be a little while before I get to the bank. That's an incomplete pass. Let's give it a Renaissance replay. Renaissance Mobile Check Deposit. Make the right call and open an account with Renaissance today. Got a good one on hands here, Jim. 62-60, ICC leads Mississippi Delta with 31.3 seconds left. Coach Eric Bozeman burned a timeout there. That timeout brought to you by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Stop by and see Dr. Rulowitz and all the outstanding people at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi to check out those nagging aches and pains. Jordan, great job of Porter and make those two free throws. Good timeout, set up your defense. As you mentioned, we're up 62-60. to 60. 31 seconds left in the ball game. Delta has the ball. And we'll have a chess match right here as ICC has wanted to change defenses off every free throw, off every inbounds pass. You know Coach Fears over there for the Trojans, he's, he's thinking about that too as he draws whatever up he wants to do here. So you've got to be thinking, what are they going to show us? And it looks like that as they come out of the huddle, ICC is going to go back into that press. And, and I, Jim, I think that's where the most success has been had all night as you've been able to force a lot of turnovers through that. Let's set the floor for ICC. It's Brown, Berry, Stacy. Porter and Mitchell, the five out there. ICC trying to trap the ball there at the stripe. You don't want to foul right here. Don't want to let them tie it up from the from the free throw line. But it doesn't matter as Hodges is able to pull up off the elbow. Good, and we're back tied with 20 seconds left. Ball gets away a little bit. Whistles as we'll reset here. Did we call a timeout? And there is the timeout from Coach Fears. As we're going to kick it over to Adam Gore for a studio update. Let's see what's happening in the women's game. Thanks, Jordan, as you take a look here live over in Moorhead. If you want to check this game out, it is on Mississippi Delta's YouTube page. Lady Indians leading at 46-35, coming up on four and a half to play there in the third quarter. So the Lady Indians looking sharp to start the season on the road. The Indians trying to see if we can complete the oddball sweep tonight of the Trojans. The sweep in two locations, right. I guess you could say. It's th things are strange right now in it our is. world, but it's good to have basketball here, and we've got a good one on hand. Great game tonight. ICC is going to have the ball, 20 seconds to play. You would think this is one of those situations where you want to hold it for the last shot. I believe so. 62 apiece, 20 seconds left. ICC has the ball. Nice opening game, and a great job by Adam Doerr and his staff giving us two games to talk about tonight even though the other one's on the road. We will see what ICC does right here. As the one place where you've seen them have the most success has been on the dribble drive. They've been able to drive in. They've got a lot of fouls called on Delta tonight. They've not converted on the free throw line very well. But if you time it just right, you drive in there and you get that foul call, you get to the free throw line, you get one, you win the ball game. You're right. And Brandon Brown's taking control out front. He looks for screens when we set it up. Maybe Brandon will get a screen, get the shot away. So Trojans coming out in the press. Entry pass goes to Rod Jones. So Jones has the ball. He's flanked by Mitchell, Brown, Porter, and Stacy on the floor for the Indians. Full court pressure, though, as Brown has it all the way out top. Ten seconds to play. One-on-one -on -one situation as ball's knocked loose. Brown gets it back, though, gets it to the free throw line. Give down low to Antoine. Porter, it's in! It's in! Porter off the right side glass. The assist from Brandon Brown, he's able to finish. One second, ball is loose. Last second, heave by Delta is no good, and ICC escapes a scary situation in the Davis Events Center and moved to 1-0 on the year. As we look on the replay right here, out top as Brown gets the ball knocked loose, and it's just everything falls apart almost. But he takes it out left, pulls up from the logo, a give down low to Porter, and the sophomores are able to link up and finish it up right there as what a contest here on night one of the season, Jim. Very exciting ball game tonight. ICC found a way to win 64-62. Opening game here at Davis Event Center. Great win. 
congratulations to Coach Bozeman and Coach Fox. They're one and zero. How about that? And I think you you said it just right. Is they found a way <laughs> to win. That's right. Is they were able to lead it by nine with 13 minutes remaining. That lead was cut down to five with seven minutes remaining. Delta took a three point lead with two minutes left, but ICC is able to scrap and claw specifically on the defensive end and get a bucket there at the end and escape with a victory. 64-62 ICC leads. We're going to take a timeout. We'll come back with the Renaissance Bank postgame report, and we'll take a look at that ladies' game happening down uh, south of here and see how that's going as well. This is ICC Basketball on the ICC Sports Network. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more, like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. The outlook for overpriced pizza has never been better. Who's going to stop us? <laughs> Sir, Little Caesars has the lowest price pizza delivered, guaranteed. We're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. Get $5 off your first delivery. Pizza, pizza. Parmesan, Asiago, and fresh mozzarella. All this cheesing is rather pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, tastes like a million bucks. Pepperoni Cheezer Cheezer, only $7. Pizza, pizza. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. You know what I remember when you were born? Today tastes like a Sunday ritual. And it never tasted this good. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle in the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. 64-62, the men are winners inside the Davis Event Center over the Mississippi Delta Trojans tonight. A real barn burner here in contest number one of the 2021 season. For one final time tonight, let's kick it over to Adam Gore for a Sonic Studio update here during the Renaissance Bank postgame report. Thanks, guys. We check in over at Moorhead. You see the Lady Indians starting to build that lead out now. Largest lead of the night now is at 14, 50 to 36, 203 to go in the third quarter for ICC fans. If you want to check that game out, if you're watching right now, we encourage you to go visit the YouTube page for, page for Mississippi Delta. Simply search Mississippi Delta Athletics there, and you can catch the conclusion of that one. Uh, we'll also have some updates coming your way on Twitter as well. Follow us on Twitter at Let's Go ICC. So, yeah, the Lady Indians trying to complete the sweep tonight of Mississippi Delta. Delta. Let's go ahead and wrap that one up down there, ladies. Bring another win back up to Fulton. Good luck and uh, to all those ladies as well as Coach Porter and Coach Adams. As this is the Renaissance Bank postgame report. Visit RenaissanceBank.com to learn more about the rewards extra checking accounts. Renaissance Bank, the bank that understands you. 64-62, the men, uh, you know, they led it by nine about halfway through the second half. They never were able to put the game away, though, Jim. And we'll have an opportunity to talk to Coach Bozeman here in a little while, and I think he's going to say two words. I think it's going to be free throws free th no over doubt. and over again because that was kind of what the difference maker could have been. Nonetheless, they didn't convert those. They allowed Delta to come all the way back and take the lead. But in the end, it was two sophomores in Brandon Brown and Antoine Porter who were able to put the game on ice for the Indians. Very excited. Brandon Brown led the team tonight with 15 points, and we talked about Porter. Didn't score first half, came through with six big points in the second half. 
of course, they hit the game winner there at the end of the ball game. But our defense was strong the entire game. But you're right. We're going to look at the free throw line. We're going to need to practice there because I don't have the stats in front of me. I'm going to say we shot less than 50% from free throw line tonight. I'm going to say you're probably right. But uh, key takeaways for me tonight will be, first off, defensively, that was one of the better defensive efforts I've seen, um, going from one set to the other. Sometimes you, you may be a good man team and you go to zone and they'll shoot the lights out on you. Or you may be a good half-court team, but if you go into a press, you get into a lot of trouble. Every look that the Indians put out there tonight, they had success with defensively, and it translated to points on the offensive end. Secondly, we went 11 or 12 deep early. We did. There's a lot of talent on this team. There's a lot of depth, and that can't do anything but help you down the stretch. They, they did. We played 11, 12 people. We rotated in and out. We were able to stay fresh and do that pressure defense, cause some turnovers, helped us down the road there. I did get a text a few minutes ago from Coach Grant Pate. He was saying, great win. I know he's happy for these guys. Um, I'm, I'm happy he was able to watch with us. I wish you were here, Coach. Uh, but we're going to get you back here real soon, and we're excited uh, to see what this team that you helped recruit has looking forward for them in the 2021 season. On that note, ICC 64-62 is a winner tonight. I think we're going to send these folks on home, Adam. Is that good with you? We're going to cut this thing loose. We will be back with you on Monday. We'll have the ladies' action against Northwest here from the Davis Event Center in Fulton. The men will take the road for the first time this year. They'll be up in Senatobia to face the Rangers of Northwest. 1-0 on the season. ICC knocks off the Trojans of Delta 64-62 on opening night of the 2021 campaign. For C.J. Adams, Adam Gore, Jim Ingram, I am Jordan Smith saying good night from Fulton. Have a great night, and as always, roll trot. Ooh, Bumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here.